The year is 50 BC. Gaul is entirely occupied by the Romans. Well, not entirely. One small village of indomitable Gauls still holds out against the invaders. And life is not easy for the Roman legionaries who garrison the fortified camps of Totorum, Aquarium, Laudanum, and Compendium. Our story begins in the forest, not far from the small village we know so well. Let's take advantage of this lovely day to go hunt some boars, Obelix. Oh, yes. Goody, goody, goody. Dogmatics is up for a walk, too. Her dogmatics. <laughs> Welcome guys, hope you're having a great day today and uh, today we're trying Asterix and Obelix Slap them all Always raring to go for a fight A quick swig for the road You never know oh, oh, Hang on, here I am Let's clear the air! And lift off! <laughs> I was a really big fan of the comics back then when I was a kid. And uh, I used to read them every night. They had, um, you're coming, right? I had a whole collection of them. My mom used to get me a new There's one. No shortage of Romans in the every area. now and then. They were quite expensive as they were beautifully hand drawn and uh, originally from France then they went to Spain and uh, they were imported comics from Spain they were not like comics they were more like books like really big books I still have them I still have them uh, in, in collection and uh, they were kind of a uh, really large uh, and a bit thin Look books. What we have here. The beautiful drawings and uh, the, the drawings no to them. in this game are the most similar to the the ones you could see there. And the, <laughs> they had some really great stories and very very funny and uh, I just love them so much. Every night. How do I grab the food? There. One free go on the carousel. Every night I would read one, one of them, or two or three. <laughs> I used to read a lot, uh, always, especially when I was younger. <laughs> and I used to read them in Spanish, uh, which is a little different from the English translation. The names and the names of the cities and a little bit of that stuff is changed because it was in usually in Latin or uh, in Greek, Greek -like language. <laughs> And uh, they were so funny, man. I just love them so much. Really. <laughs> he who rations his strength goes farthest. And Obelix loves, loves to eat wild boars. It was a very common thing in the, in the town. They would make parties with a lot of them roasted wild boars. And we would just eat like a bunch of them, like 20 or something. I think I'm short on energy. Get over here, you. Out of the way. I'm coming through. Oh, no. 
And Avalix is, is naturally super strong, like some kind of superhero, because he found the Marmite of uh, the magic potion that they drink to give them superpowers. And that small, and that small town that uh, they can't get beat by the Romans. And Asterix, Asterix here does need to drink his potion to gain superpowers. So once they get their superpowers, they're like pretty much invincible. So no army could ever beat them. Oh boy. Really? Come here, chump. This way. Get over here, you. I'm too weak. <laughs> Those laughs are so funny. Say, Asterix, I feel like we're seeing fewer Romans in the forest this year. Says Obelix. It's the season, Obelix. They've all gone to invade the British coast. I hope they come back in good shape. The sea air always turns them the British scholars. Well, they love it. they love beating Romans more than anything. <laughs> On wild boy. Back at the village. Our goals happen upon a curious visitor. Anti-climax. I said, gentlemen, will you show me the residence of one Mr. Asterix? That's his cousin. That's Asterix's cousin. He lives in Britain. I'm Asterix. I say, that's a crumpet of luck. In Spanish, in the comic, he'd say, it's, he used to say, bondad graciosa. <laughs> This is like gracious blessing. I'm anticlimax of Britain. See, anticlimax, my Germanic cousin. This here is my best friend Obelix. Charm, shake me by the hand, good sir. Oh, I wouldn't ask for that. Look at what's gonna happen. Sure, says Obelix. Obelix, don't shake him like that. He, he, in the in the comic, he grabbed his hand and, and just. Slap it up and down to the floor. <laughs> but it's this German bread on who, like, he asked for for his hand to be shook. Says Obelix. Splendid, Tributal. I've come to ask for your aid, Asterix. My village is under attack by the Romans. What? Think you could spare us any of that magic potion of yours? Yeah, see? They need the magic potion to defend themselves against the uh, Romans to a world just conquering everything and everyone. You come with us, Anticlimax, we'll go and ask our druid, get a fix. In the comics, he, uh, the druid is called uh, Panoramix. Some potion, I could whip you up a barrel of it to help your village, will that be to go? Marvelous, a tip of the helmet, what? But however, will I manage to deliver this large barrel to Britain all on my lonesome? Well, you could go drinking little by little to make you stronger and carry the barrel all the way back home. But that would be dumb to do. They said that in the comics, I still remember. Asterix, Obelix, I think you took good to for him. The Romans are quite sparse in our region at the moment, says. But the uh, statistics. That's the boss of the village. We're gonna see the Romans, goody goody goody. We're gonna see the Romans. Obelix always wants to see Romans to, to kick their butts. What are those strange herbs got a fix? Oh, they're tea. They're herbs that come from far away. You can take them if you so like. And that's when they learn about tea. Because Britain brought the tea. Act 1, Asterix in Britain. Thanks to Anticlimax's rowing skills, our friends take to the sea. 
but before long, the wind is taken out of their sails. Were to command the that say about to transport the potion barrel to Britain. That's enough potion talk. Her enemies, enemy ears listening in. Besides, her boat is more discreet. Yep. Don't want to rush you, but let's uh, let's return to my boat before the fox sails in. What? These indomitables are transporting a barrel of magic potion to Britain. I need to warn the commanders. Oh no. That takes care of that. It's the same thing that a happens Briton, in the comics. A barrel and a small dog disembark at last on a charming British beach. They were also <laughs> uh, intercepted in the sea by pirates, and that didn't end up well for the pirates. 
when they saw who oh, they were, and they go getting closer and they see where they are. No, no, turn back, turn back. He's the goal, he's the goal, let's go back. Well, it was too late and they they took over the, the pirate ship and destroyed it. Let's clear the air. One, three, go on the carousel. Make way. Make way. Ah, finally a little exercise. Always raring to go for it. Get over here, you! Get over! All the, the spear guys are kind of annoying. Really? Step aside! I'm in a hurry. Stop it! Let's clear the air. Phew, I don't have enough energy. One free go on the carousel. Let's clear the air. Ow, ow. Ow. Made the therapeutic power of tossing Romans. One free go on the carousel. Really? In hot. Okay, enough. The mover is fun too. One free go on the carousel. I'm much too weak for that.
Tuilare. Is it down here? Let's see the fix, the little dog, so super cute. <laughs> Well, here's one you won't be stealing. By Belenos. <laughs> they have a lot of deities. Belenos was one of them. Greek mythology deities. The storm rumbling, anticlimax suggests seeking shelter at the Laughing Boar Inn. <laughs> They're in Britain now and they go to a to an inn for shelter and to hide the barrel because they're already seeking it, the Romans are already seeking it for the magic potion that they're carrying to intercept it for themselves. Hello innkeeper, goodness. In Spanish they said, but not graciosa, goodness, if it isn't anti-climax, sit down. I go sift the salt out of your meals and warm up your beers. Yeah, because they're in Britain, so the first the food is horrible there. And uh, Asterix and I always didn't like the food at all when they were there. <laughs> they had like uh, boiled, uh, boiled uh, wild boar with uh, mint or something, and they were like, "What is this? Is this is a laughing boar." I didn't, I don't see much to laugh about. Because they, they gave him a little piece and it was boiled and with mint and they don't like the taste. <laughs> oh, they even keep your comments to yourself. When in Britain, do us a Britain Zoo. <laughs> Asterisk was always trying to make him be polite because his cousin was from Britain. Yes, but he's boiling it in mint sauce, so see, I tell you. Asterix, poor beast. <laughs> 
Hush, Obelix, there's a patrol. Let's go. To, let's get to Britain. Yeah, uh, because they were rambling too loud. And then... Oh, there it is. Hell, you there. What are you transporting in that barrel? Oh, they were already looking for the potion. You just some warm be out, but he doesn't know. Still. He wants to confiscate it in case in case it's a... Uh, uh, wine, illegal wine from the gods. Just some warm beer, he says. Ah, I thought it was little gullish wine, see? I would have confiscated it, but warm beer, okay, you can go. And he and that that legion, that Roma legionnaire is gonna find out later that they were looking for two gulls uh, transporting a barrel with magic potion. Avoiding the capital. Our travelers head toward the village of the indomitable Britons. Yeah, they had a similar village in Britain that was resisting the Romans. Invasion. Journey in Jeopardy. Whoa! Whoa! You ran me over! Crap! <laughs> How did I punch him? Chariot race today. Oh, hang on. Oh, here I go. am. Oh, there they come. The spears. So annoying. Stop it. Oh, there's you saw a lot of mist in Britain. It's misty and rainy. It's cold. There must be a nest of them nearby. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. One tree go on the carousel. Ow. Stay on tight. Ow. <laughs> Let's clear the air. And lift off. <laughs> <laughs> Here, little Freddy cats. Coming in hot. We're all on patrol. You say, Yay! Come on, scram! This way! Gotcha! Get over here! Gotcha! Up this way! Watch out for the birds! He who rations his strength goes farthest! Goody, goody, goody! A fight! Good thing all these houses are numbered. They all look the same. Get over oh, crap. Those long distance spears, man. Scram! Are you the one who's throwing spears? Don't do that. <laughs> In Britain, Mr. Britain. Oh, the child for the voices. Oh, there's more voices. Oh, oh no. Shit. Dang it. Many of those. Carriages. <laughs> Took them out. Oh, they keep coming. Oh no. They must have left the fire. Get over here. 
Oh no. Over there. Go see if I'm over there. Still more? It's an invasion. Get aside. I'm in a hurry. Hang on tight! Let's clear the air! One free go on the carousel! <laughs> that takes care of that! Indeed. Traversing the charming countryside and forests, our friends finally arrive not far from Anticlimax's village. Okay guys, gonna leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Along with my stories about it. I was a big fan of the series comic book series and uh, catch you in the next video take care of yourselves love you bye <laughs>